We are here looking for two wild docks. They're just kind of roaming around the lake. There's a lot of fishermen. Will you get one of these docks floating out there? That'll uh, rip a boat apart real quick. So step one, I spot them from the air, mark them, and then we'll head out in the boat and uh, get them to shore. couple of docks cut loose from the uh, shoreline here from different people's properties and they're big they're like 30 by 60 is what we've heard somewhere in there one is kind of half submerged so it's really hard to see so step one find them step two get them to the shore that's the overall plan so we're just getting the camera rigged up on the tail of the dolphin right now so that we can uh, fly out figure out exactly where they're at spot them from the air mark them and then we'll head out in the boat and uh, get them to shore Okay, so we took a quick flight, found one of the docks, uh, one of the smaller ones. You guys got to realize that, like I said, boats are cruising across this all the time, day and night. And it's a lake that doesn't have any obstacles or sandbars or anything. So people are used to just cruising across. Well, you get one of these docks floating out there, that'll uh, rip a boat apart real quick. So we're going to go grab the one that we just found. We're going to let the fog clear out a little bit because we can't fly through that. So once that clears up, then we'll fly to the north end of the lake and see if we can find uh, the other one. It's good. We'll go get that one and then see what happens from there. All right. We are grabbing the rollback tow truck, which I actually just bought. I'll explain that to you guys in another video. Um, long story short, Brian has a big towing business called Atlas Towing up here in Bear Lake. And he was ready to slow down a little bit. So we bought it from him and we now own this whole territory. And like I said, I'm gonna do a completely separate video to show you guys that whole process. I actually wanna show you you kind of like from start to finish what it's like to buy a business and see if we can make it successful. But in the meantime, we're gonna drive this over the other side of the lake. Rather than taking the boat over there because this boat does not have a huge engine, it's like 115 horse. So you get a lot of people in there and then you start towing a dock. She runs out of power real quick. So since it's already on the shore, we're just gonna drive over there, pull it on the bed, let the fog clear up and then go find the other ones. Dock is right down there on the shoreline, and unfortunately, there's no good place to grab it from up here on the road. So I was hoping we could just kind of drag it from here from the shoulder, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I think we gotta get uh, on the boat, which Brian and uh, those guys are putting the boat in the water right now. So we'll go grab that, drag it over to the boat ramp, and then uh, load it up on the boat ramp. That way we won't damage the shoulder, or the guardrail, or the dock, or the boat. Sometimes you gotta slow down to get things done faster. That's one thing I've learned. Whoa! Go hook that on. Oh. <laughs> you just 
rush into something and start go, 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 going. Uh, and if it's not the right plan, you'll end up spending way more time than you need to trying to get a project done. So that's one thing I've done over the past few years is I've learned to slow down a little bit, assess the situation, and then jump into action. And then we can you know, move real fast once we have a solid plan. But that's uh, probably been one of the hardest things that we've had to learn as far as teamwork and working together as a group is everybody's so excited to do the job that they kind of just start breaking out and doing their own thing. And then when you need somebody or a tool or something and they're out doing something else, it just gets a little frustrating. So. Boards and he said, I left him in my other pants. <laughs> Silly goose. No, we'll just drag it behind it. Tie it on right here and then flip around. We tried to land on this. <laughs> he, was, he was sitting on it. I'm gonna jump over there. Help hand. Oh man, we almost sunk. Got something hooked to this? Uh... Yeah. Sorry, little guy. Can't park here. You're gonna create a little bit of drag. <laughs> All right, so we're hooked up to the little dock now. Um, we've got roughly a mile back to the uh, truck. So we're gonna play a little game. I want you guys to drop your guess in the comments below how long it's gonna take us to tow from here back to the tow truck. Remember, it's just a little over a mile and uh, this boat has 115 horse. I'm not gonna tell you what the speed is, but it's not fast. My guess is 17 minutes. We're gonna start the timer right now. Stopwatch ready, set, go. Harder on the old girl. It goes under, create more suspense that way. I need to get it closer to have it pull up. Got it. Propeller's creating thrust. It'll force the water underneath to keep dock up. Sign. It's still going under, so I guess it wasn't very good at science. <laughs> A great point. But there goes my science degree. Putting it back where we found it. <laughs> Plan C. Not good the motor. sound of propellers hitting water. So I went zip like this and the drone was skipping across the water, getting really cool shots. Really cool shots. <laughs> it was on sport mode. I turned the sensors off. All part of my theory of why we do that, you know? The last drone I crashed, the big drone, was the helicopter came in and just washed it into the tree. The other one was they take the sensors off and then I just hit a tree with it. So that was my fault, but I couldn't turn the sensor back on. I didn't know how. How much time do you think that took? 32 minutes. 32? What would you say? Can I see the timestamp on your camera real fast? <laughs> 33 minutes. 
going so fast. I don't know. <laughs> going so fast. Maybe 18 minutes. What's the old timer say? Uh, I think it was like 25 minutes. 27 minutes and 45 seconds. 10 minutes longer than I expected, but I didn't go over. That was 30 minutes? Walk. Did you dock the dock? I have. I've docked the dock. But now we've taken the dock off the dock and we're walking the dock. How much dock could a dock dock? If a dock could dock dock? If a dock could dock dock. Do you trust the dock? Dock? Shoveling truck. That's got to be some snow down the shoes. No, there's not zero. <laughs> what are you doing, Diesel? Clearing a path. Someone's got to be here to open the gates. Up, oh, shit. He? I'm only this close to my hand. Yeah. Pulling the gate back. <laughs> nice. Deeper floor, Captain. Never lift! Just uh. like that. You now own a dock. This is your dock and you want it back. Send us an email. Info at heavydsparks.com Or find Brian in Garden City. Atlas Towing. This is your dock. Yeah. This thing, look at this. <laughs> it's always that way. Hi ho sailor. Probably leave the park brake on. Just for fun. Who needs a snowboard? Takes all the fun out of it. Oh, what were you doing down there? I just wanted to check the specs on the rotor regirder, make sure they were good before he hit the road. Don't want hands have a problem with the rotor regirder. That'd be bad. 